Hello everybody, welcome to Sheepish Look at Rocket Riot. My name is Gunna and today we're playing a game that I can't really describe with one genre. It's basically an action uh, physics shooty kind of game. I don't, let's just call it a shooty kind of game. Uh, so basically the main premise of the game is you fly around with whatever character you want to choose. There's a lot of characters which is really great. And basically you can shoot your little bazooka, your rocket, sorry, rocket. Uh, and you just blow up, you can blow up the environment and you have to kill your enemies and each level has a different objective. So that's basically, it's primarily a deathmatch game, like you're gonna, almost in every single level, uh, be killing people no matter what, whether that's the main objective or not, you're gonna be killing other rocket rioters. Uh, so yeah, I mean, it's very simple concept, you've basically seen the, the main uh, mechanics of the game already, but there's some cool stuff that makes it interesting, so you can pick up power-ups. Um, this one, I'm not actually, okay, it makes my rockets home in, it seems, that seems very powerful. Um, there's also some uh, power downs. Ba basically, they're red blocks, and uh, as you guess, they will probably screw you up. There's also some yellow ones, which are kind of miscellaneous things. They don't really benefit you in any way or not. So you can see that was a very simple objective. It was just kill everyone. This was only the second level. Uh, but there's other levels which will have more objectives. And also, when you beat the level, you can see here, this is kind of for people who like to uh, score higher up on leaderboards and all that. You can kind of come back into levels and increase your rating. You can see down here, uh, these are different things that will reward you for um, performing a certain way. So here, for you, for example, you can see spam free. You did not spam rockets during this level. This gives you 150 points. This one's called manly. You did not camp in one of the top corners. Uh, this, let's see, one here that I didn't get. You killed all enemies in one big combo. <laughs> that sounds pretty insane. And there's some stuff here, basic kills. Okay, so depending on what weapon you use, how you kill them, etc. All right, so this is the next level. Also, a very simple concept. Uh, it's basically exactly the same thing, except with rugby added into it as well. So you can kind of go grab the rugby pig skin and you have to just toss it through this little goal and uh, uh, there you go and it blows up into some satisfying things so yeah very simple game I will show you some more game modes later on but I also just kinda wanted to talk about um, some cool stuff about it so uh, first of all I love the effects when you actually shoot at the walls and blocks and stuff uh, the environment will respawn by the way so you know you can't eventually um, tear down the entire level and there will be absolutely nothing left Oh, did you see that? I actually shot his rocket out of the air and got some extra points for it. Let's try it again. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Come on, shoot. Shoot if you ain't a chicken. Okay, fine, whatever. <laughs> okay, you don't have to if you don't want to. I love all the little rubble as well flying around. Um, oh, let's see here. Let's see what this power-up is. This is... Okay, I've got some rubber ducks around me. Or maybe they're just normal ducks. And uh, they actually project me from, protect me from projectiles. They will die, so it is quite a sacrificial uh, protection thing. There you go. You can see now there's one duck left. Less... It's, uh, it's pretty tragic and sad. So the way you actually shoot your weapon is you hold the left mouse button. This is on PC, by the way. You can play with a controller. I will talk about that a little bit later. But uh, with the mouse, you basically just hold down the left mouse button, and as soon as you let go, um, it'll fly further. And obviously, the less you hold it, it'll uh, kind of... You can see here, I'm shooting little weak shots. They don't do less damage or anything. It's just their arch is a little bit lower. Um, and you just fly around as much as you want. If you let go of the controls, you'll kind of slowly float downwards. And uh, I played this game actually years ago on Xbox 360. Um, it seems to have... I mean, it's the same levels, uh, but I think there might be a few new cutscenes. I, I can't... You don't call me on that. It was years ago that I played this. Um, but there are more levels, I believe. And um, it also seems to me that they've taken out a feature, which is multiplayer, which I think this game benefited a lot from. It's a very fun little simple game, but if you have friends, it just kind of... It always makes games more fun, but especially with this game, just kind of you could kind of blow each other up. I'm not. Sure, I don't remember if it was campaign or if it was versus multiplayer. I believe there was definitely a competitive mode, and I don't know if it was online or local. But this doesn't seem to have any of it. Um, this kind of seems to me like a mobile port of some sort, because you can even tell from the the menus. Um, I looked up the mobile version of the game, and it seems a bit different. But like you see, you have to kind of scroll the menu here to go through the different game modes. You have to scroll through the levels here. This is actually a very annoying system because, like, say I'm over here, right? I'm trying to look, and and, and now I want to try find the last level that I was on, because uh, I can't play any of these ones. So I have to like scroll back. Okay, now I found it. Kind of. Uh, okay, it's there. So I would much rather have like most games where it's just kind of a small tile across the screen, and you kind of can just see which ones you you last played and all that. Um, I don't know. It kind of makes sense because of all the stats and everything, but I don't know. It's just slightly a bit of a frustrating system. Anyway, so basically you can see here, you can choose your characters. These are all the characters I've unlocked so far. Uh, when you kill an enemy, you unlock him as a character, which I actually really like. It's a very fun little system. You kind of 
It's like getting Pokemon, except you gotta murder them first. You don't put them in bowls. So you can see, I actually missed one pirate from a uh, from a pirate level. So I can actually go back and try find them. Uh, but yeah, there's all sorts of really cool ones. Like <laughs> Davy Bot. Uh, I don't know. I, I really love the penguin. I got it recently. It was actually from one of the bonus campaigns I was talking about. So I'm gonna try show you a little bit of extra stuff here that this PC version comes with. I don't know if it's another version. Who cares? We're playing on PC. Uh, so you can see here. There's all sorts of campaigns. <laughs> By the way, this song is pretty insane, and so is the entire soundtrack, it's, it's kind of nice. Alright, so here's an example of what the cutscenes are like. The circus is in town something, I didn't read it. But in Blockston, Borough, Chest, Buryston, things are never fun. Uh, so the game does have a sense of humor, as you could probably tell from now. <laughs> it gave me a lot of extra time to read that. Alright, the main campaign has actual characters in the cutscenes and stuff. Oh, this is a guy with a top hat, I want to kill him. Look, so you can see when I kill him, I'm gonna get unlocked text right next to him. Oh, okay. Okay, or any of these lines you can see. Unlocked. Yes, I'm unlo unlocking all of you. Die, mister! What? Why is he taking so much damage? I don't understand. Oh, God. He's not a boss, because I don't see a giant health bar. Oh, God, freaky clowns! Huh. I, I love that you can actually shoot rockets. Uh, destroy each other's rockets in midair. It's so cool. Die! I will destroy you. Look at my angry penguin eyebrows. No, he doesn't sense my wrath. Okay, this is some sort of special level, it seems. Oh! Alright, so this is a different objective type. This is in one of the uh, other extra campaigns. So you can see at the top of my screen is a little temperature thing. I'm gonna basically fly around the map. There you go, so now I can see I'm closing in on my target. So this enemy is actually hidden within the foreground. So there you go, you can see him. He got revealed from the ripple there, and I killed him. So uh, on the red arrow on the temperature thing, you can see there's a number three now. Basically, I need to kill three more hidden characters. Oh, I'm totally gonna die. I don't remember if there's a health power up, but I would love it if there was. Go, go, go! Run! <laughs> there you go, I found you! Okay, cool. So, um, it's it's okay. It's a it's a nice little mix-up from the other stuff. There you go, you can see this useless power-up. It just shoots pick colored pixels. Very, very useless, but it's fun for parties. And here's one more different game mode. You basically just gotta destroy the object in this level. And uh, the object being golden boots that squeak when you shoot them. So, oh, there you go. There's a health power-up. I knew there would be one. Ah, get away from me. Uh, okay, I'm so now you can see I'm not sure how I got the power down uh, But you can see in the top left corner. I've got like googly eyes or whatever it kind of screws with my controls uh, It's so annoying to use so you can see I got another use this one bang I'm gonna kill you with my flag god I can't even punch them so this kind of just forces me to run away, but yeah on the Xbox version there was multiplayer and it kind of I don't know it, it was fun like that this bang thing would kind of cause for so many um just ridiculous situations you're running away from your friends and stuff, you know. I don't know, maybe I'm crazy and there was no multiplayer, but I'm pretty damn sure there was. No, there, there definitely was, but I don't know... I don't see any multiplayer being advertised on the store page in any way, co-op or anything like that. If there is, somehow, and it's just insanely hidden, then I guess, okay, but there's no way. I looked everywhere, I can't find it, okay? Yeah, I mean, all the music from the main menu music to all the level stuff uh, for different chapters, they have different music. It's it's all really cool. Uh, one thing that I just remembered that I wanted to point out, actually, another gripe with, like, the PC version of the game, apart from the menus, the only real problem for me, uh, and the menus isn't even a real problem, this is a real problem. Um, so, a lot of the times when you're using a mouse and you kind of want to aim, you know, I have control over this reticle, you expect to be able, you expect it to go wherever your mouse is but it limits it to this certain radius. You can see here I'm like flying it around. It always sticks in this kind of uh, certain radius, this distance. Um, it's very frustrating when you're using a mouse because it, it just kind of, I don't know, you feel so restricted. When using your controller, you kind of just point the analog stick in that direction and it makes a lot of sense. I kind of, um, I don't know, it would be cool if the devs implemented, I don't know if they can do this now or not, but allow the reticle to actually go where my mouse is pointing, but then have this separate reticle showing where, like at this distance, where it actually is. Even just a small dot would go a long way, so you kind of keep the red reticle, this reddish yellow one, where it is, but have a small white dot uh, across where my actual mouse is. It's not a very big deal, but it kind of, um, it, it feels frustrating. I think you'll understand what I mean if you actually tried it out for yourself. It's not a big deal, again, but just a little kind of quality of life improvement they could do. Man, I love this ripple, it's so damn satisfying. And all this rubble flying around, it's so, so nice. Yeah, it's a, it's a very satisfying game. Uh, I'm not sure why everyone lost their legs and they have like jetpacks attached to their butts, but, you know, it's the world of Rocket Ride. Oh, I love this one. 
You just bounce off of everything. It can be very frustrating in tighter levels. This one is uh, quite open area, so it's not a big deal. But, uh, oh, I've got two more enemies. Mm, get over here. Where's the last one? I can see him. Bob. He's being hided from me on the left side of my screen. Come here, Bob. Yeah, Rocket Riot. All right, so we're going to end the episode on this psychedelic looking level with uh, fish on our wallpaper and trees. And don't forget the scissors. Oh, is this a chicken? Nice. Um, so yeah, I think it's a very simple, fun little game. It does everything right. It feels uh, it feels more or less polished, apart from the mobile port stuff that I really don't like. I, I, again, I don't know if it's a mobile port or if just bad design, but um, it's quite frustrating to use menus, and, and this aiming thing can get a little bit annoying. Maybe not for everyone, who knows. Oh, we've got Chuck Norris over here. Get over here, Chuck. Boom! Um, so yeah, it's a fun little game. I like the graphics. I love the the mechanics of actually like being able to fly through the terrain and everything. The power-ups can be very satisfying. It doesn't seem... I haven't found any power-ups in this level so far. It's kind of strange. Um, I just really hope they add multiplayer. I actually found a post now from the devs that uh, confirms that there is no multiplayer in this game, so I'm not crazy. Uh, but they, do, they are thinking of adding it, so I really hope they do. Either to play co-op campaign with your friends, or a competitive multiplayer where you could kind of play rugby against each other, destroy the, the boots or whatever, um, or just simple deathmatch. The game will benefit so much, really, really it will. Uh, because honestly, it's a fun game, but in my opinion anyway, I don't think you can play it for too long without kind of getting bored. It doesn't, all the objectives don't shake the game up way too much. It's, a, it's an okay game to kind of keep installed and play every now and again when you're bored. I think that's uh, all it's meant to be anyway. Oh my god, I'm being attacked by ice cream, what? Get out of here, dude. Uh, but yeah, I do I do like it. It is a fun, simple, it's a unique idea for a game. I do really like it. And uh, the good thing is if you do enjoy the gameplay, there is a lot for your, for your money. There's, there's so many levels to play through. Like, there's multiple campaigns, and each campaign has multiple levels. And uh, you can play them all in whatever order you want. You don't have to beat one campaign to play the other. So if there's one which kind of like there's one which is all fantasy based. So if you want to go unlock some orcs or dragons or whatever as your character, you can do that. What does this power up do? Oh god, that is so depressing. <laughs> yeah, at least you can get kills with this power up. A lot of them don't allow you to. Get out of here, ice cream. Um, but yeah, overall cool game. Check out the link in the description if you want to buy it for yourself. And please don't forget to like and share my video if you enjoyed it or thought it was useful. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye, I love you. Retro's never been old fashioned, we are showing no compassion, here we go, no hold on tight. Grab your jetpack and get with it, wreck it, hit it, get it, shoot it, come on and let's start the fight. You had never so much fun killing.